So, how's it going, guys? This is the trays at the Prospect Grand Final, and we have heads up Proximo and Amari Racing. This is the first match. These guys are going to head it off. They all want it really bad. There's Vanover coming in, heads up coming in. Amari over there testing his video. We got Proximo looking at it really close. Got something more hidden for the celebration. Champ that we saw at IO. There's Amari coming in. There's Proximo coming in. So when you look on the podium right here, you have Heads Up, Vanover, Proximo, and Amari from right to left. They're getting ready and putting their goggles down. Proximo is changing his channel. It's moving fast. Okay, you good? Yeah. Good All right, they're good to go, Joe. All right, they're good to go. Here we go, guys. It's round number one. For the fastest pilots, not only this week, but in drum racing itself, getting sent to wage battle. Good luck, contenders. It's round number one. He gets the first ace. We're about to find out. Pilots on your quads. Live on tow in less than five. Feeling they are up that whole shot competition. Looks like heads up at the first one out front, but it was super tight. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Heads up, Van over Amari Proximo. The entire field separated by six tenths of a second. And we are pushed up into the lead. Sitting number one. Heads up, FBB into second. Then Amari, then Proximo. Continuing on to keep it going strong all night long. Captain Van yes. over. Heads up, Proximo. Amari. On to lap number two, we take them. Then over leading by a tenth of a second. Issues were heads up at the on lap number two. Then Fox and Amari in the second third. About a second and a half lead here for Captain Dan over. He's on lap three now. Two down, two to go. There's Amari. Two seconds back. Amari running third. Three seconds away from right here. Now finish points matter, so second and third are a big deal here in these rounds. And of course, we are looking for an ace. Right now, Captain Van Over holding on to that ace. And he is set to fly it. Captain Van Over now. Captain Van Over. Number four. 
on Marvin. Good cross next. Good cross cross mode. Mode. And Amari a tenth of a second apart from each other. They're two and a half seconds back from our leader, Captain Vanover. Second goes around, qualifying and sitting number one in our grand final right now. Chasing round number one. Bringing a checkered flag in just a moment here. This is round two. Chase Cam became championship. Cam. So now we'll see what will happen here in Chase East round number two. Will more motors explode? Will they ever find a missing cell? So many questions unanswered. Chase East round number two. Captain Vanover with an ace. It is on. Amari, who is second, Proximo, who is third, and Heads Up FPV, who is fourth in that first round to get a win to push it to a third round of Chase the Ace here tonight. Otherwise, Captain Vanover could go two up, two down, and be our champion. Which means officially the comeback tour has started. What a way to start. Any objections? We're about to go green. Chase Ace, round number two. We got Vanover, Amari, Proximo, and Heads Up in the from right to left. In less than five. Off to the races we go. Look like a shaky start, but uh, no contact, no victims there. Look at that. He is next up at the E. Over a Proximo. And we he lost Amari. Heads up in uh, Captain Vanover. We're side by side in that sweeper just ahead of us. Our uh, right line. If they're going to cut those seats, it's Captain Vanover leading heads up at the E. And going forward with heads up at the E. He has Captain Vanover in sight. And now another it's big up. thing. Proximo. Proximo. Down to just two. Captain Vanover and Heads Up FPV. One and two. Captain Vanover still leading Heads Up FPV here on lap number two. Yeah, like, like this one. Right. We're going to push this to another round. We're going to make it to be decided in this race. Captain Vanover. Heads Up FPV is getting closer. Two tenths of a second back. They're at the midway point. Two laps in. Two laps still to go. And, I mean, super close right there. Both of them both screwing out of there at the exact same time. Now they're about four feet apart. Captain Vanover. And white flag flying. One more to go. Captain Vanover leading. Looks like heads up at the Second last Heads game up. before the start first game had to double back, so now it's eight seconds to the good for Captain Vanover. It's a fact that we get to try and catch up, but right now Captain Vanover has an eight second lead. Line things up on the Captain Vanover. And the celebration may not be coming in as of yet. There is a review on the whole shot of that last race. There is a review. There will be a video issue on that last race. So all right, guys, so this is Prospect Race 2, the first race. Amari and Proximo crashed out on the gate, on the start gate, and they have called it to rerun uh, Race 2. So they are lining up right now, getting ready to race, and we are going to be on the start-finish line so we get actual recording of the start-finish. They are coming in right now. And Proxima's brain is drowning. Yeah, <laughs> All right, he's just doing a weight check over there. There's, there's that contact. And 
they done a big review on it and they have determined this is race two now All right, they're getting ready to go. All right, here we go, guys. There is Amari in first on the round two of Chase the Ace Prospect. All right, guys, here we go. We have Prospect Race 3 in Kansas. And they are getting on the line right now. Right now we have Amari in first, Vanover in second, Proximo in third, Heads Up in fourth. That's the order from right to left. We're going to come over here to the start gate. Thank you. 
This is lap four. Man over, Evan. How you feel, Vanover? Can we do the award ceremony? Yeah, please. Yeah. While you're still How you feel? I feel amazing. It's been three years since I've been in the win column. Fireworks really display my emotions. I've worked really hard for this, um, but no matter what camera I'm on, big shout out to Rekt and all my other sponsors for allowing my comeback to race and happen. I couldn't have done it without them. I couldn't have done it without Multi-GP putting this event on. So thank you guys so much. This win truly means the world to me, and I dedicate it to everyone who supported me and followed me and cheered me on. So thank you very much. Congratulations. All right, now I know you had a little bit of a hand in this uh, drone and flying up. What do you got to say about this prospect frame? Uh, I mean, the Prospect frame, the Prospect series, the whole idea of this is something I really stand behind. I'm all for drone racing, and I think Prospect is one of the big parts of the future of drone racing, and I'm, I'm here to support it. So I think this was a prime example of great racing, great competition from all the pilots. Uh, all the quads seem to be the same speed to me, and it was uh, just down to who can move the sticks the best, and I think that's uh, a great example of how good Prospect is. All right, we had a great LED track out here, and it was really fun to see all the quads. You could really get a great view of the quads. What was your favorite part of the racing out here tonight? It was close racing. I mean, I'm I'm a fan of drone racing. Simple as that. And that means I want close racing, I want fair racing, and uh, I want competitive racing. And that's exactly what we had. I mean, the finals and Colin and Alex and Christian, that was, you couldn't have picked a better four. And that was, you, you didn't know who was going to win. It was exciting. Everybody was on the edge of their seat, myself included. And uh, it just made it exciting. My heart was racing. I think everybody else's was too. And that just makes me happy. Sounds like it's been a while since you felt this excited about drone racing. It's really great to see from someone that's been in this hobby or sport for so long. So Evan, now who do you want to send a special shout out to? I mean, first off, I want to say props to you. You were in a tough position there for uh, in that judge, and I, I think you made the right call, and it, and it still came out to be, it gave us more racing. And I, I, as we've talked several times this week, I like racing. So, um, and other people I want to thank is, of course, all multi-GP, but uh, all the 553 team. It, I don't know if you guys saw, but when I would have quad issues, I, I had people there for me, and I can't say thanks enough to them. That's, that's Skip, that's Ethan, that's Ty, and then the biggest one in my eyes goes to, to Mr. Charles. He's out there putting in the time, drags me to the field. We study each other's lines. He, we want to kill each other half the time, but he, 
I, I credit this to him. Like he should have. I think he should have been up there. He got unlucky, but uh, this one was for you, Charles. Oh, that's so good. And he was a little sick under the weather this week, so he did a really good job. All right, let's get some pictures of it. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's good. Thanks, Evan. Hey, nice to see you. We'll see you at another one. All right, see you for Evan. Good job, Evan. Good job, Evan. All right. Now, as I learned from one of my favorite drone announcers, Mr. Joe Scully, our champion runner-up champion, a reserve champion, Mr. Amari. Come on out here, Amari. Congratulations. Here's your big trophy. He's won the first second place prospect trophy ever made. Ever made. So uh, Evan came up here and talked about his, his support team and Mr. Chalson knows. Now I, I know your dad was there. What do you gotta say about how, how much he helped you out today? No, it, it's no secret that he's my secret weapon. So <laughs> it, it's awesome to have him here helping me with all of this, you know. Um, he's helped me learn everything that I've done for this and I do a lot of it for myself here, but he's definitely a great encourager. So I appreciate him being here and all the help he's done. Uh, that's great. I mean, family is really important in this it. hobby. And we see him here, we see him at I.O. And speaking of I.O., you did have a big win there. Now you have another uh, Prospect oh, trophy. What do you think of this pro or Prospect series? What, what do you think of this whole thing? I think all forms of spec racing are the future of spec racing. I think it's good for everyone. It's good for the pilots. It's good for the spectators. I think this is how we grow our that's great. Well, I also think it's great for my tracks because you guys, we haven't had to repair anything out here. I really appreciate that. Uh, is there anybody else that you want to send a shout out to? Oh man, uh, big thanks to Radio Master. Uh, let's see here, HD Zero obviously have been doing all of that. Uh, my Tai Chi batteries have been thousands of cycles through them at this point, so huge shout out to them. Uh, I love the frame. The frame is awesome. Love 53 Armando and everything that they've done to make this frame. I put probably 300 packs through it and I haven't broken it. Uh, there's nothing. It's, it's fantastic. You fly more and you repair less. What can you ask for? Yeah, I agree with that too. So, you know, I wasn't a believer at first, but I know Sean's told me tons of times, and I did put my head down and say he was right earlier this evening. So uh, I'll give him credit for that. Now uh, at I.O. we had the Killian rule that came into effect. Uh, now we, you know, we had the uh, the whole shot rule. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you think about it? what was going through your head when that happened? I was just getting excited that there's going to be yet another Amari rule in the book. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is true. Yeah, when we put up with the spec, I would have to say, we did think about Amari rules. So I just want to say congratulations. Thanks for coming out here. And uh, let's get some pictures. Let's go, Amari! I hope you punch this on. One side, we need Dad. Hold. Dad, there you go. Oh, yeah, come on. There we go. No. All right, come on. Here. Go ahead, go ahead. Give me your phone, give me your phone. We're going to pay a lot of money for this back shop. Let's get as many pictures out of here as possible. Are you all the Together. Good old family. Mari, move to the right just a little bit. Nice and centered. There you go. Get that Prospect logo in there. Yeah. So great to see how much family's doing. Yeah. All right. This is kind of cool. Um, I think your phone's somewhere in there. It is. Okay. It was heavy enough. So I got a little teary out there. Oh, Mark. Uh, I get to give a trophy now. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I get to give a trophy to one of the best drone racers that I've, that I've ever seen. Someone I've grown up with, Mr. Alex Hano. Woo! 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 This is so cool. All right. So, you came out here. Which I don't know about you guys, but there were bets that you weren't going to make. He's back! He back. <laughs> you even played a little pickleball, so you got a little ball. <laughs> so, what, besides the pickleball, what was your favorite thing about coming out here tonight? Man, I've been waiting a long time to be back out here. Honestly, for a while, it was like, I just want to get back out and race. I want to feel what it's like to battle again. But I think the best part about being out here was just being with the community again. I think in the last couple of years, I just kind of lost. Like, I feel like that's why I raced from the get-go. It wasn't necessarily because I just like wanted to win or just get better. It's because I enjoyed the community. And being out here with you guys just makes me realize how much I've missed all of y'all. And I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. I, I was telling people in private that this was going to be my retirement race, and I want to color commentate. But this is definitely my un-retirement <laughs> race. So I'm going to continue racing. 
Um, and before you say anything else, I just want to give a big shout out to a couple people. I'm going to ramble for a second. Uh, first off, to all my sponsors here, uh, Wrecked FBB really made this possible for me to come back. Joshua like, got me goggles overnight in, out of his own pocket and stuff like that to make sure I had a gear that needed to fly. Um, to the guys who helped me train with Amari and Proxima, I mean, these guys, if it wasn't for them coming to my hometown and training with me, I wouldn't have had the, the ability to push and be able to push what I did there in the finals in the matter most. So without those guys, with Chet spotting me, you know, giving me all the information I needed to know, there's there's so many more people I'm sure I'm forgetting, but also a shout out to every single one of you, because again, this community, I'm reminded so much tonight of how much this community means to me. And so thank you guys so much for welcoming me back with open arms. I promise you this is not the last one. Uh, I feel that. I feel that see you again. Uh, uh, over a couple of weekends ago, we've seen people trying to do some crazy thing with the quad, trying to, you know, I don't know, put their cameras on upside down and stuff like that. And but but at the end, the drones all look the same. But we're watching out here; we can see the drones are flying the same speed. So knowing that, what was that extra skill, the extra van over, the fanny style that really propelled you to that that podium? I feel like I've always been really good with heavy spec quads. Ever since I got on DRL in 2019, I really shifted my focus to just spec quads. But, um, I mean, th listen, you guys all saw it. I mean, Amari won one of those heats. The other two guys, Evan and Proxima, were right on me. I mean, I think if you could rerun that race ten times, you'd probably get ten different results. So I'm, that's why I'm very, I truly, I feel like it's ironic to say, but this is like, in a way, the humblest I felt in a long time. Because I know, like, if you reran that race a lot, you could have a different result. So I, I don't know. I just feel like being consistent and just staying relaxed. You know, I went and played pickleball today. I did everything I could to distract my mind from the fact that this is my first big race in three years, that I could come back and have a good chance at winning. I just wanted to come in, have fun, and like I said, be with the community. And you guys really made this uh, an amazing race, and I'm looking forward to doing it all over again soon. Great. Well, it was amazing having you here. Let's hear a big round of applause for Mr. Alex. Thank you for <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to get you in the top three uh, finalists, uh, and then we'll do the top four. So, approximately, you come in after these three. Yeah? Give me that. Big <laughs> trophies in there. Hey, thanks for coming, everybody, and, and making this a great race. Uh, Alex, move over. Just, there you go, right there. Going to turn it so we can see the two. Oh, there you go. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, got some? All right, Mr. Proxmo. Yeah, Prox. Keep going left. Yeah, Mario, left a little bit more. There you go, that's good. All right, while they take this picture, hey guys, we're going to restream this later today, I guess it is now. So we would ask politely and strongly that you don't post any spoilers online. I know everyone's super excited to be here and watch this. Uh, I gotta go walk. <laughs> <laughs> are you live? No. Are you live? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, 